Hello there, Leo, and welcome to your looking ahead messages for August of 2023, Leo. This is a new series, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyhow, Leo, we're going to go ahead and find out um, everything you need to know that Spirit will give us for the month of a month ahead, okay? So this is going to be for August of 2023. What does Leo need to know about August of 2023? Okay, well, things are actually looking pretty good here, Leo. Some of you Leos, you may be um, at a place where, you know, you're just, not only are you sitting pretty here, but Leo, I am seeing a uh, person here as well, but um, I wanted to talk before about the, the person here. I do want to talk about uh, something new that might be... Um, you know, stirring up within you here. So you could be coming up with some um, good ideas, maybe some projects, maybe there's something just personal going on here where we're just taking better care of ourselves. We're being shown the way to relax, maybe indulge a little bit more or a little bit less. But I do see the Empress is sitting in some type of um, abundance and luxury and also being very talented and gifted here. So some of you Leos, there may be a sense of heightened um, awareness between you and the spiritual realm here. So some of you, you do have the gift of really tapping into certain energies and channeling divine messages and knowledge, okay? So be willing to relax, chill out. Um, but there is a mother type of energy going on as well. So I do feel that some of you Leos, um, you know, there may be an importance of uh, motherhood for some of you, but not all of you. Uh, but you could be dealing with a mother or a maternal uh, type of energy here, okay? Um, but for the most part, um, I'm seeing that you are um, coming into August or focusing maybe on self-love, self-care, nurturing things and ideas that you want to nurture, okay? We have Taurus and Libra, uh, Libra energy coming through. Let's see what else you need to know about the month of August for Leo. And also, Leo, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Let's see what else you need to know about your month ahead. We do have something about uh, hmm, making things equal. Maybe some of you, you are doing some mending or healing or coming up with a compromise here with another. Maybe, you know, again, there could be a woman here. Um, now, if they're not a woman, they could just have, you know, strong like feminine energies um, at play. But um, yeah, I feel some of you, some of you Leos are figuring something out when it comes to you know, taking better care of oneself. And so we may not be willing to compromise when it causes us to get out of balance in some aspect. But I do want a little bit more with this compromise. Um, let's get more about this for Leo. Yeah, I'm getting this, this sense of a lot of you Leos just wanting to be at peace, you know, with yourself and others as much as possible here. So let's get a little bit more about this compromise for Leo. What do you want Leo to know about this compromise? Hmm. Hmm. Leo, we got the nine of wands here. Hmm. Yeah, I... I'm getting this sense of some of you Leos, there's just something about really standing up for what you believe is right for you here. I feel some of you Leos, it might even be, okay, now Leo, either this is you or this is someone you're dealing with or will be dealing with for the month of August here. There may be someone, okay, hmm. I'm just getting this thing about for some of you, an apology, it may, it may be a little bit difficult, but Spirit is saying for some of you, Leos, whatever is going on in your situation here, whatever can bring you peace, you know, honor that, okay? 
but some of you Leos, there may be a need to really stand up for what is right for you, okay? There may be a need that we need to, you know, um, take better care of oneself. Maybe we do need to have some or establish some healthy boundaries here. Now, some of you Leos, there is something going on here for some of you Leos um, when it comes to just making amends here and doing what you need to do to, um, you know, make things peaceful for you. Okay. Let's get a little bit more too. I want a little bit more. Oh, we just had a card fall out. Okay. It is up to you, Leo. So spirit is saying, pay attention to yourself right now. Um, pay attention to others as well, right? We, we want to be um, good and straight with ourselves and others, but I feel that a lot of you Leos know what's right for you here, okay? Especially when it comes to not doing things that can uh, take away from your health, your well-being, maybe even your self-confidence here, okay? So I do see a lot of you Leos sticking up and standing strong for yourself and what you believe. And for some of you Leos, you might be really protecting someone or some type of new energy that you um, are feeling is at play here. What else for Leo? We got fire sign coming through. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Spirit might be really pushing you to hang in there leo what else for leo for august of 2023 mm. you are you may be healing something here with someone from the past for some of you guys or some of you you're just going to come to some type of, um, you know, you know, reconciling something from the past within yourself here. So I do see some healing. Now, some of you Leos, you know, we were talking about this compromise, maybe meeting um, someone uh, in the middle here. So some of you uh, Leos, I, you know, I want to be surprised if for some of you, it could be, you know, a, a lover here from the past. Now, some of you, this could be you know, your friends from the past, childhood friends, you might be um, connecting with them um, and healing at a soul level because, you know, you're just in this uh, playful, innocent energy here. Some of you Leos, though, there may be a need to, to really rest in the month of August here, okay? Um, I do feel that there's an energy from the past or something from the past really wants to be um, acknowledged and healed, okay, Leo? We got air sign coming through as well as water sign. Uh, what else for Leo? So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else does Leo need to, oh my goodness, let's see. The Knight of Cups here, Leo. So, hmm, I would say there may be some really tuning in to what really matters in the heart space for you. Some of you Leos, there's someone here with the Knight of Cups, okay? Um, so you might be, you know, following your heart with a situation, idea, or someone. Now, some of you, there is a strong thing about um, an apology here for some of you. Now, I can see some of you, Leos, maybe uh, for some of you, Leos, there's, a, um, you know, a desire to make the first move when it comes to um, creating peace with yourself and another here, okay? Okay. Um, now, I do see something here about maybe, uh, you know, romance, dating, uh, getting together with someone, but it came out a little bit funny, Leo, so I feel like this is going to be a challenge for you. Um, for some of you, you might be challenged uh, possibly with following your heart here or trusting a situation, okay? I want a little bit more with this Knight of Cups uh, for Leo. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's get a little bit more with this Knight of Cups. There's a lot of reflection going on, um, Leo, so I wouldn't be surprised if the month of um, August, um, we're doing a lot of reflecting here, 
but they're they're you're tuning into something too when it comes to um gathering uh important information and insight here okay let's see what is this knight of cups okay there is a lot of changes here yeah this this is a challenge isn't it leo I, I do feel that there's going to be a challenge here, Leo. Uh, you know, maybe for some, it's not going to be so, so much of a challenge if we could just have an attitude of, you know, things are changing. Um, maybe some of you guys are just multitasking and doing a lot here. So it could be a little bit uh, hard to follow what your heart's saying for some of you guys because there seems like a lot going on here. Some of you, I mean, I'm seeing a choice here, a decision, you know, priorities, uh, maybe dropping something here in, in you know your life where where you feel that it may take you out of balance. Okay, some of you, you know, not all of you, Leos, but if, if this is there could be something here with, uh, some, you know, a partnership or deciding between two. Okay, now some of you you could be dating someone from the past and someone new here. Okay, so. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's up to you, Leo. We've got to make um, a choice, though. So you are you are going to be making some decisions, some choices here. But you're going to know what to do, okay? What else for Leo? Yeah, I feel, Leo, you're going to be doing something like measuring things, too, like really weighing your options, weighing your choices, filling things out. What else for Leo? You're going to be letting something go. <laughs> well, we were just talking about that. Yeah, you're going to be letting something go here. Okay. Either letting go of trying to control a situation, uh, something that might be taking up too much time or energy or something that you just feel is expiring. <laughs> Maybe it's letting go of some past hurts, you know, because we do have something going on with memories uh, for some of you guys um, and, and just really letting go of those old wounds here. Something fresh, okay? We're welcoming something fresh or at least something that we can just be, you know, really at peace here. What else for Leo? Yin. Look at this is Empress energy. This is interesting. Yes, I feel Leo, you're really going to be tapping into feminine energy for the month of August here. So we're staying receptive. We're also nurturing ourselves, others, or an idea here, but not to the expense of where it drains you, right? Um, there's something about balance here. I mean, we've, we've got the two of pentacles here. So uh, Leo, this is a state of um, receptivity as well. So yeah, we're not pushing or forcing anything. We're just kind of being in a place of peace um, and at a place of receiving. What else for Leo? So yeah, Leo, get ready for, you know, some maybe new ideas, maybe some new projects, maybe a new you, maybe, you know, finding something that is really comfortable for you. I mean, I feel some of you, Leos, you're really... Um, it's all about like comfort here, okay? And, and also, you know, surrounding yourself with beautiful things as well for some of you Leos. What else for Leo for the month of August? Yeah, I mean, surrounding yourself with beautiful things, whoa. So, so some of you Leos, don't be afraid if, you're, if you find yourself spending some time in solitude or maybe it feels like isolation. Um, I'm seeing you doing things that really, um, you know, there's some emphasis here on surrounding yourself, um, with beautiful things, comfortable things, um, because we are feeling successful or we're at least, uh, in a place of purposely, uh, maintaining a sense of equilibrium, balance and beauty here. Okay. Whether you're male or female. So seeing some of you guys really knowing your own worth too there may be a strong sense of 
um, wanting to do things on your own too, um, claiming your independence or strengthening uh, something strong that's uh, going right in one's life here because I do see a situation that is going right with the nine of pentacles, okay? So uh, yeah, we're, we're finding some type of great balance. So some of you Leos, you may be feeling like um, more in a very softer energy for the month of August. Now, you could also be meeting someone as well because we do have, you know, a few people here. <laughs> so you could be meeting someone as well that could be, um, you know, doing their own thing and well off here. But for the most part, I'm just seeing someone who is, you know, really just enjoying or being in a place of um, taking care of themselves, um, you know, just enjoying like the little, even the little luxuries of life here. Okay. So, uh, something something good is going on. I feel a lot of you may need to just let go um, of any type of um, situation or feelings that make you feel not so good about yourself. Okay, not saying that you you Leos are doing that, but there or there's some there's something going on here for some of you Leos with past hurts here, having to heal something from the past. Right? What else you might be finding? You know, the mind is just cons all consuming here with some past memories. Now, some of you Leos, you may need to, if you're already in a relationship or there's something that you know you can't avoid, I mean, you may need to just let go of some type of story here and, and let a situation heal so that we can start to build trust with yourself and another, okay? Um, let's continue and see what else you need to know about your situation. You do need to be assertive here. Okay, that's really following with that nine of wands. So there's something that you are destined to really come into when it comes to some type of achievement and success here. So you do need to be assertive, um, Leo. So yeah, I'm seeing that some of you guys, you know, saying no when you need to say no, uh, saying yes when you need to say yes. Okay, it is all up to you here. Let's see, what else for Leo? Yeah, some of you Leos may just need a little time out here. Now, some of you Leos with this be assertive too, I can see you being assertive when it comes to uh, taking on some new things that you might be inspired to take action on, okay? Oh, wow. Some of you guys may need to be assertive with your family members in the month of some of you or, you know, the cl close ones around you so that you're not feeling like you're all of your time and your energy is um, being consumed here. But yes, we are actually headed towards some type of really a uh, happy situation here, Leo. We've got the 10 of cups. So, so, you know, it's like these two hands are really joining together. So Leo, there's emphasis on, you know, feeling um, joy, happy, love, something going good here with home life, okay, or heading towards that. Let's look at a little bit more with this 10 of cups for Leo. Got more water sign coming through. Let's get a little bit more with the 10 of cups. I'm getting this thing where a lot of you Leos just want to be in this place of, you know, joy, contentment, feeling good, feeling nourished, and and really asserting yourself in a position not to lower your standards, take down your walls uh, for something that maybe you've already released in the past here. So we're really uh, focused on just being good, right? Being blessed. Let's get more with this uh, 10 of cups for Leo. You are going to be choosing a new direction. Okay, there is something better. So some of you guys, um, yeah, you know what, Leo? You, you are going to be letting go of something or someone or maybe an old lifestyle. I don't know. Some of you, Leos, depending on your age, you could be, you know, moving out on your own here, getting out from, you know, living with the roommates or an older person or parents. Some of you guys, not all of you, but... Leo, there is something good for you here. So I am seeing a situation where spirit is showing you in the month of August to choose a new direction because you are knowing that there's something better. 
See, it's about you guys receiving, right? Goodness, blessings. What else? Okay, something is unlikely. Let's see. Some of you, you might be questioning someone or a situation here. You might actually be um, stressed or a little bit worried here because we've got this thing about unlikely. Um, communicate clearly though within the next few weeks, okay? So some of you, you may just be finding you need a little bit of space and time here. Um, I do feel that there may be something here for you Leos. Uh, you might be questioning your ability <laughs> to maybe assert yourself or, or communicate clearly, or is it the message is coming across clearly here? Um, but it's almost like Spirit is saying, it, uh, some of you uh, Leos, it's like you're gonna be letting go of some type of fear that you have or something that you think bad is gonna happen for some of you guys. So Spirit is saying, whatever it is when it comes to um, you know what you wanna do here, follow what your you know follow what inspires you follow your heart here um don't give in to anything negative situations or or thinking here because it's unlikely to happen some of you may just need to really communicate clearly here because we do have the you know be assertive and communicating clearly here so i'm getting swords energy so we're really like shaping and forming something and and being strong in our position so a lot of you Leos, um, yeah, you might even be, you know, finding a, a new sense of strength or courage here to get some uh, points across, um, to communicate clearly, okay? Let's see, what else for Leo in the month of August? Now, some of you Leos... Put this in your situation there may be a situation here too where someone may not be willing to change here so you know you've got to be able to communicate what you need to so that you're not leaving anything um on you know unrested here right you, you'll be able to vent it all out here in a you know respectable manner of course um you're, you're going to be asking for help from others here so hmm i feel like a lot of you leos might be getting um information from others you may be getting help because some of you guys might be finding that uh, you can't do everything by yourself or that you absolutely de need some help so that you're not, you know, getting drained and you can focus on other things or someone or a situation here. So, um, yeah, I feel a lot of you will be communicating clearly. See, I mean, communicate, ask for help and communicate clearly here. What else for Leo for the month of August? goodness this is just like justice this is kind of like this compromise mm -hmm. mm. yeah i'm seeing you guys doing th things you're gonna be finding out what is fair for you here mm -hmm. now some of you leos you know be willing to hear others out if if an apology comes your way or if you are sensing you want to apologize but there's something going on here. Okay. Some of you Leos may actually resonate with the someone's Oracle messages uh, that was published before this series. Um, it's almost like you're going to be walking through a new opportunity or new door, or you're preparing to do that. Um, because there is, there is something better here to be fair for you. Whatever has happened in the past here, something is being balanced out by natural law here. So uh, new opportunities, there's something better here, especially when it comes to uh, contentment, joy, uh, maybe a home life, family life for some of you guys, uh, some type of you know situation where we are um, <laughs> harmonious here for the most part. Wow, what else? Yeah, let go for it to let something be fair here for you. What else for Leo?
Yeah, the choice is up to you here, okay? Some of you, Leos, you might be challenged, though. I was getting this thing that there's some challenge, though, coming into August, um, or how August plays out for some of you guys with having confidence in, in your decision or your choices here. Now, some of you be open to, um, you know, other information or asking help from others. Uh, cause you know, we've got this being that's on this pedestal here, but she's, um, you know, she's not realizing that she's not really tied down or she's not really restricted like she thought she was. Okay. So you are going to be making some new choices here in the month of August, letting things go to free yourself here. Okay. Something's happening with, um, expanding awareness as well, understanding more about balance in one's life. What else? You've got some you've got a love situation here too, Leo. So I'm not really sure what's happening right now for you, but we do have, you know, this <laughs> like ever everlasting love here. Okay, this eternal love here. So there's there's definitely a situation where um we're being guided to uh if you're not already in it, but, you know, we're guided into a situation um, where we've got like the two of cups here, okay? So like powerful forces are guiding two together here. Your hearts are guiding each other, you know, towards each other. Uh, some of you Leos, I know that for some you are already with someone here. So, you know, whatever has gone on, we've just, we have to release something and let it go. And that's exactly what's happening here. And you're, you're receiving the right like counterpart here to the yin energy, right? The yang to the yin here. So some of you Leos, you're really going to be holding strong on a situation or stay committed here and loyal to what you know is right and true for you. Okay. And it's like, wow, Leo, you are getting what you want. You are her. What else? Too many dragons, yeah. Okay, to be fair, <laughs> Leo, you do need to ask help for others. Um, so in the month of August, we're doing things to create more, um, you know, <laughs> of this like, I don't know, sitting peaceful, good energy here. So we've got maybe uh, for some of you in the month of August, we've got to look at our schedules. We need to maybe look at what we're doing too much of, or maybe too many people are involved. You know, there's just a lot going on here. So make sure that you are, you know, on top of like your schedule, making sure that you're taking some time out for yourself. Um, or, you know, for some of you guys, you may need to take out, you know, time out for yourself and another here. So, um, yeah, there's going to be probably a lot going on here. Uh, for a lot of you Leos with the month of August, we've got that two of pentacles, too many dragons, a lot, a lot of things going on here. Okay. Keep moving into that new direction though, is what spirit is saying. Okay. What else? Oh, and so if something dis disappoints you, Leo, it's really, um, a blessing in disguise. Okay. So that's it for, um, those messages. So Leo, let's go ahead and find out, um, what is spirit's advice for you in the month of August? What is spirit's advice? Oh, this one just flipped right on over. Ooh, we got it. <laughs> Reconsider here. So yeah, some of you guys, it's on the two of pentacles, be assertive, the empress, and it's up to you. Reconsidering something here, right? Some of you guys are going to be really reconsidering, um, you know, things again, that don't compromise your own well-being or taking away from you. Uh, some of you, you know, we're reconsidering a situation so that we can reconcile, make amends, make a peace here. Um, let's get a little bit more though, too. So let's get more with this for reconsider for the advice for Leo. Let's get more about reconsider for Leo. Mm. 
you have a deep knowing about something here. It's like, there's almost like this, it's like you, there's this like deep knowing and this inner knowing of what you know, okay? Something that maybe you made a promise to yourself or spirit here um, for some of you guys, but yeah, I just feel, Leo, the advice is, is to, you know, know truly what you really deserve because I feel some of you, Leos, you might have been challenged or tested here with, you know, just not accepting, like settling, okay, for some of you guys. Now, some of you, you know, if you, Leo, I don't really get a lot of you guys doing, like, I don't pick up a lot of you, Leos, but there may be something here for some of you, Leos. If you want to make an apology because maybe you've done something here, then do so, right? Um, but um, it's really up to you when it comes to uh, considering the things that are um, going to help you grow, help you sustain or maintain or come into more abundance as well, okay? Because some of you Leos, there's something strong here too about, you know, the, the things that you have already built up to, okay, that we're protecting. Because some of you, there's a real future fortune here if you're not already in a place of some type of comfort or some type of financial success here with that nine of pentacles and the empress. Okay, let's, you know what, Leo, let's get one more advice for you too for the month of um, August. Let's get one more advice for Leo for the month of August. Okay, my God. Okay, let's see. That's, what is this? You see, we're going to be following our heart here, Leo. So, Leo, look, we got romance. So just, you know, be romantic to yourself if some of you guys don't have that, right? Uh, focus on romance or, or feeling that energy if this is what you are wanting to draw into your life for some of you Leos, because I do see romance here, someone that's romantic, okay? So um, romance yourself, right? Take care of yourself, prepare yourself, because a lot of you Leos are headed towards a romantic situation here, okay? So let's find out, Leo, what you have to look forward to in the month of August. What does Leo have to look forward to for the month of August? Yeah, you're letting go of the burdens. Wow. Um, you may be asking for help or, you know, you may find the support or the employees or the team members or family members, friends that could help you unload baggage. <laughs> so what you have to look forward to is ending these burdens, Leo, right? And, 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 and coming into a place where we're feeling like we're thriving, where we can rest, that we can give to ourselves. Cause I feel some of you Leos, wow. It's like you realized something when it came to giving too much for some of you, right? Or maybe not giving enough to yourself, okay? So you have, what you have to look forward to is um, letting things go, literally letting it go. How awesome is that? And good for you because you need it, Leo. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.